Hey, man, say, man, this bandana the rag. You watching Gasoline TV, the reliable source. I'm going to say, some of you women, to some of you women out there, man, this ain't a shot. A lot of decisions that a lot of you women make later on in life when kids get grown, you're not going to be able to really clean it up the way you anticipate in the moment. I'm saying this to say this. Kid gets grown. They gonna tell you how they feel, right? A lot of women be aggressive. When kids is little, you whooping them, shut up, shut up. You're not letting them say what they need to say or get off their chest what they're trying to get off their chest or release whatever it is they're trying to release to get an understanding with you because you're so impatient, so aggressive and impatient. One thing about an aggressive woman, an aggressive woman, that's, that's not uh, strength. That's not demonstrated as strength. That's, that's, that's ignorance, right? So when the kids get grown and they look at their mama and they say, damn, mama got three, four baby daddies, four kids, four different baby daddies, and they ain't been married once. Damn, mama, why you never been married? What's the answer you gonna give? It ain't no answer you can give. What were you doing? Were you playing? You damn sure wasn't being serious because uh, four kids, four different dads, no marriage. That mean you wasn't living up to certain guidelines that was passed down to you how you were supposed to live, right? And this ain't a target to them because this is a the flip side of that. A lot of dudes went to jail, did a whole lot of jail time, right? Left the woman, left the kids, right? Left mama, left grandmama, left everybody, right? You put whatever it is you was going through, whatever it is you believed in, you sacrificed all that time to be away from all the people you love. So is it fair to say you love that? You love the streets? You love the gang? You love the, the violent act that you committed so much to where you was just willing to jeopardize your freedom for that long? I'm not saying five years. I'm not saying 10 years. But anything way after five and 10 you got to look at it as that's what you believe in. You put that before the kids. You put that before God. You put that before everything, right? And at the end of the day, people going to look at your resume and they're going to be able to ask you these questions. Did you love the streets more than you love me? You feel what I'm saying? How did you have four kids and no husband? You weren't trying to find us a... a, a, a a live-in dad that's going to be there with you and raise us so when we grow up we know how to have a husband yeah some things going to make you cry because you were so busy telling the kid to shut up and do what you wanted to do going out mess with this dude mess with that dude from this neighborhood from that neighborhood you feel what I'm saying oh you with him you with him you got pregnant tried to get the baby wanted the baby to keep him wanted the baby to, to fix him and all that shit then piled up and the end results you did it wrong. You didn't do it right. This bandana the rag, gasoline TV, that's something to think about. We out.